Hello everyone, it's the Canadian Wi-Fi here. Welcome back to day two of the OU tournament that I had on the Frost Server 64 person single elimination. Today, I am bringing you the semi-finals of the tournament against gym leader Maxorus. So looking at his team, it, it really looks like a 5th gen team with a Charizard, honestly. Uh, threats on his side, Tarak is a massive threat. I don't really have a switch in for it because it's hyper offense. Um, Keldeo is the same way. They're both really fast, <laughs> just like in 5th gen. They're both really fast and they hit like a truck. Uh, Charizard is a little bit more manageable because I have some things faster than it and uh, it loses half its HP to Stealth Rock. Most likely Defog on the Gliscor, um, and I do outspeed that with Jolly Belly Shark, so shouldn't be too too much of a problem. Celebi's a little bit out of place, but we'll get to that bridge as when as when when we cross it. I'm gonna lead off with Deoxys Defense, like I have in every single battle, as he leads off with the Keldeo. First turn, he's gonna crit me with a Hydro Pump. I don't really care, but it does come into play here. Uh, I'm gonna set up my rocks. If he didn't crit me, I would have been able to live the Stone Edge and T Wave his Terrakion. Um, as you'll see, it doesn't really affect the outcome of the battle, because I make a horrible play here. Going to Diggersby, I was really banking on the fact that he's choice Terrakion, and if he was choice Terrakion, whew, would have been a great play. But unfortunately, he's just straight up lead Sash, Stealth Rock, good old 5th gen set. I, man, so that was an absolute awful play by my part. Down 6-4 really early. Luckily, Rotom Wash is be able to juke a high or is gonna be able to juke a Stone Edge. Definitely makes up for all the Hydras I've been missing this tournament. Unbelievable. As he brings in Celebi, I'm gonna go with the Bisharp, not really knowing what he wants to do, but assuming I could live any hit. He goes for a Life or Belief Storm. And then assuming he's he knows I'm gonna kill him with a sucker punch, I go for knockoff, predicting the switch out. But he stays in and just kills me. Um now, the thing about this is the Mega Pinsir can come in, whether he switches out or stays in, I can get up an SD, and that's the game. He can't do anything, he doesn't have Zapdos, uh, one of the only reliable switch-ins for this thing. Offensively, a few things check this Pokemon, defensively, next to nothing can take a hit from this Pokemon, and luckily for me, he happens to have none of any of the above that I mentioned. So. Let's just all take a moment to awe in the fact that Mega Pinsir just fucking won me this game. A game that I definitely deserved to lose. So like I've said before, I played pretty shittily in this tournament. <laughs> and the team definitely carried me through quite a few times. Because, um, again, not trying to draw from the well of excuses I have. Um, besides the point that I'm just not that great at OU. Uh, I hadn't played in forever, and I just kind of joined this tournament on a whim, trying to get some nice standard battles backed up for the channel, and uh, it happened to turn out well. So anyway, let's get on to the finals here. This guy has another very fat and very threatening team. Uh, mainly, two two big things stand out offensively. Um, Mega Mawile, again, just Mega Mawile. You have a Mega Mawile? It's a threat. Um, Latios is obviously a defogger. Not actually that terrible because obviously I do have the Bisharp. Um, Suicune is another giant offensive threat. Whether it's Calm Mind Offensive or actual Crocoon, I, I feel like it could actually give me some trouble. Um, but the biggest threat, bar none, is the Skarmory. I don't carry Focus Blast on this Lando. At the time I carried HP Ice, which is stupid. Um, now I carry Psychic in the last slot. Focus Blast just doesn't find as many uses as I'd like, mainly because Skarmory is not common at all this gen, and uh, because he has it, it's going to give me trouble. Now looking at potential leads, I didn't want to lead with Deoxys D, because I felt like keeping the red card intact was going to be really important. In case the Suicune managed to get up to plus 2 or plus 3, I'd be able to have um, an insured way to phase it out. And also looking at his team, Bisharp actually leads off pretty well against most things. It can either knock off like the first four members of his team, um, and it also gets an attack boost if he leads with the Landorus, which is what I'm going to lead with as I lead off with said Bisharp. As he leads off with the Landorus, I get an attack boost turn 1, and as long as he's not Scarf, I get off a huge hit with knockoff. Unfortunately, he's fucking Scarf, and I just lose by Sharp. And during the battle, that was such a mental blow, I felt like I had lost turn 1. Um, regardless, I'm gonna fight through it. <laughs> I'm bringing Rotom Wash, because uh, I know, obviously, he's literally forced out. I'm gonna Volt Switch off on him, and he goes up to Latios. Here's a situation where I wish I was 
sashed. Um, it's also a situation now looking back. I wish I just didn't have Digger's Beak because it was so bad. Uh, but I'm going to get off some damage with a quick attack. Uh, bring it down within a range where Mega Pincer can actually kill it later on with a quick attack if need be. Um, I'm going to get up my rocks. He's going to taunt it in case he wants to go the whole Crocoon route. He shows Calm Mind, which doesn't actually reveal anything because both sets run Calm Mind as a... Uh, He's going to burn me with a Scald as I just get up a layer of spikes. It's going to be very helpful against his team as uh, the red card is going to draw him out into the Maul while, as, while it does give him the free Mega. It actually isn't too bad because I can taunt him, prevent him from setting up. There, there are much worse things that he could have got a free switch into Maul while on. And um, unfortunately I'm going to die. He predicts that very nicely and goes right for the player off. As I go to the Rotom, uh, knowing he's going to be scared out. Um, I'm going to go for the Volt Switch because anything he wants to bring in is going to take some damage, get more uh, residuals racked up on it. And uh, I'm going to go to Pinsir. Uh, did a quick calc know that uh, Return actually does kill from this range, so... Um, speaking out of my hair, unfortunately the massive threat is in my hair. Uh, Skarm comes in, I know he's just going to defog, so I'm going to try to get up as much as I can. Plus two only does 50%, he's going to roll me out into the thing that I can't actually touch it with. Uh, HP Ice is going to do just as much as Psychic would have. Uh, they both would have just not killed it. Uh, Sludge Wave obviously doesn't affect it, and Earth Power doesn't affect it. Um, if I got brought under Rotom Washer, that would have been perfect, because I would have Hydro Pumped, and uh, all would have been great. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. So um, I'm going to Volt Switch out. He um, gives it to Latios. I scare him out by going into Mega Pinsir, but... Um, I mean, I gotta play the threat. You don't mess around with threats. Uh, the Latios is in my face. Unfortunately, he's gonna go right back into the Skarm, and then he reveals the Toxic. No! Like, of all... It, it is... It is... To it's Toxic Roost, um... Toxic Roost, Defog, and... I, I don't remember, but... Uh, it's just... Of all the Skarm resets, no one else ever would have ran something like that, and it, of course it's the one I end up losing to. Um... He brings in the Tran after I burn his Lando, so things are looking kind of back up. I'm going to be able to rest up as he goes for the Protect, and then I'm uh, going to Volt Switch out, thinking he would just stay in, maybe go for another Fire move. Unfortunately, he goes out to this. He misses the Stone Edge, but he stayed in. Um, okay. Okay, it's fine. Um, he's going to go for another Stone Edge. I, I don't understand why he's doing it, because, I mean, the damage on this Rotom Wash is so negligible. Um, of course, then, uh, I, 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 reliable Rotom's coming through for me misses another Hydro. Uh, looking at the rest of his team, Pinsir's going to do jack shit because the Skarmory is still alive, just sitting there. So I'm going to sack this, go back out into the Landorus, and uh, the, the Skarmory just walls me. There's, <laughs> there's really nothing I can do about it. Um, I mean, I suppose if I tried to save this thing for last so he couldn't have gone for uh, a Whirlwind on me. Right, the Whirlwind is the last move. Like... <sighs> Um, I'm, I'm going to fail to kill the Skarmory, basically, and that, that is going to be the game. Both things are just going to die to Skarmory slowly. So, um, I actually managed to bring it back closer than I thought I would be able to after um, some... I, I don't know if I played poorly. I mean, obviously, leaving Bisharp in turn one was bloody stupid. But uh, this team, the updated version of this team that I am currently using, <laughs> definitely would have had a much better matchup against uh, his team in general. But uh, live and learn. Uh, this was, like I said, the first time I played OU in a couple, a couple months, probably a month, maybe, probably a couple months actually, because I didn't really play it while I was in Florida. So that was all of March and all of April. So yeah, a couple months. Um, I don't know. I didn't. I don't think I did too poorly. Uh, obviously, I got my ass handed to me in the finals, but uh, the more deserving person won the game. So. Um, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for listening. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed the tournament kind of thing. I notice um, a lot of people do. I, I uploaded a tournament like maybe a year ago, I think. I'll link it on screen right now. Um, and that was a three-part tournament and uh, that got, or two videos, three rounds. And uh, it got a ton of views. It was one of my most popular videos for a while. And now I noticed part one of this one got a ton of views as well, so be sure to let me know if you want to see more tournaments. They're definitely fun for me to do, and uh, they definitely give more high-quality battles than your average showdown ladder, because the showdown ladder, unless you're literally like in the top 500, whew, they are some very sketchy battles. Um, yeah, but other, like, like I said, let me know. Um, that's about it for me. Whew, why am I so flustered? Uh, that's about it for, for me. Oh my goodness. That's about it for me for today. I hope you all enjoyed. I have a giant goofy smile on my face right now, and I don't even know why. Um, anyway, <sighs> enough rambling from me. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for listening. If you enjoyed, our rating would be much appreciated. Um, 
I'm going to uh, sign off before I make a bigger fool of myself. Take it easy. Have a good day. See you later. Peace out, guys.